Hi, I'm Scott Noonan, the CEO of Audio Advice. Today, I'm gonna to give you an in-depth overview of the brand new Motion Series speakers from Martin Logan. For those of you who have followed us for some time, you know that I'm a Martin Logan fan and chose to put their 13A Masterpiece Series speakers in my own home office and listening room. At Audio Advice, we carry the best speaker brands in the world, so you know that if I chose to put a brand in my own room, it better be really good. So if you're thinking about buying a new set of speakers or upgrading your current ones, you don't wanna miss this review of the new Martin Logan Motion Series. There are four new tower models, two bookshelves, two centers, and a very cool new multi-purpose model. These are broken down into two series called Motion and Motion XT. Let me give you a little background first, and then I'll jump right into the new line. With the launch of this line, Martin Logan is celebrating its 40th anniversary from when Gail Sanders and Ron Sutherland launched the company with their first speaker. They now make a whole range of hybrid electrostatic speakers that produce incredible sound and inspire music lovers all around the world. The Motion series was introduced many years ago to deliver that effortless electrostatic sound without the costs associated with traditional electrostatic speakers. One big secret to their success was the Martin Logan Folded Motion Tweeter, which delivers the open sound people associate with electrostatics in a more conventional design. These new models represent the fourth generation of these incredible speakers. As one of the largest dealers of Martin Logan in the world, we work closely with them as they look to bring new speakers to market. The team at Martin Logan let us know a couple of years ago that they're beginning to work on this fourth series of motions. They're terrific at soliciting our feedback on their speakers, whether it's frequency response, industrial design, or even colors. So as they started moving forward with production with these new lines, we began playing and listening to the pre-production prototypes. We're fortunate now to unveil the final production models, which have improved substantially on the prior series in numerous ways. These are not just small changes like some speaker manufacturers do for a new model line. These speakers are completely new with new drivers, cabinets, and cosmetics. Martin Logan's goal was to improve sensitivity, lower distortion, provide higher output, and get even closer to a flat frequency response. We love all those characteristics at Audio Advice and have to say, they certainly pulled it off. They also wanted the new models to have a different external appearance than a normal speaker box, which as you can see, they completely succeeded in. I'm gonna first go over the tech shared by all of the models. Then I'm gonna get into each specific one and go over the use cases for each so you can understand which would be best for your situation. First and foremost with the new models is a complete redo of the folded motion tweeter. For those of you unfamiliar with this tech, it is really something cool as it's lightning fast and totally effortless. You also get a far larger surface area than a typical one inch dome tweeter would normally have. It creates sound by moving air similar to how an accordion operates. The super thin film folded diaphragm squeezes air and requires almost 90% less excursion than a dome tweeter, which drastically reduces distortion. You get a wide yet very controlled dispersion pattern with this driver, which gives you an amazing sound stage. The Gen 2 version for this new series got an even higher magnetic field strength and more internal air volume. This has led to higher output, lower distortion, and an even smoother response curve. All characteristics you definitely want in a tweeter. So with many living spaces today becoming more open concept, Martin Logan wanted to extract just a little more dispersion from this great tweeter. To do this, they've added a wave guide on the front of the speaker cabinet. This improved both horizontal and vertical dispersion by 10 degrees and actually 15 degrees vertically improved on the XT series, giving it more linearity and a wider range of listening positions. This design also simultaneously allowed them more freedom and getting the response even flatter. All of the new motion models have this new Gen 2 Obsidian Folded Motion Tweeter with the XT series getting a bigger version of the same tech. The crossovers for every single model share some great parts. They all have custom air core coils and low DCR steel laminate inductors with polyester film capacitors and low DF electrolytic capacitors. Every tweeter has built in thermal protection. While you never really see these parts, it is great that Martin Logan realizes the importance of a speaker's crossover and uses technology they learned in producing their far more expensive models to make these incredibly special. 
Another thing all the speakers share is a really neat cabinet design with three finish options. Okay, so one of the cool things they did was they got rid of these old traditional, you know, speaker grills that would cover everything. And you can see here instead, there's a grill for each of these drivers with the tweeter sitting open. I actually think it looks incredible here on this black one with no grills on. And it also looks equally as cool with this gray on the white. Instead of using magnets, it's got a cool little clamping system that allows you to set the um, grill so you can get the grain of the fabric up and down, which I think is really neat. The cool looking folded motion tweeter is fully exposed in all the models and gets a new black color to blend it better with the cabinet face. There are three color options with matching grills, gloss black, satin white, and walnut. Internally, Martin Logan took bracing to a whole new level. There's far more bracing than before, and in the models with the separate woofers, the mid-range driver is in its own solid and sealed cabinet inside the speaker. All of the models get very nice rear binding posts too, with most of them offering bi-wiring capability. So one of the other cool things they did was a really great outrigger. So you'll see here that you can use either spikes for carpet or you can use rubber on the bottom. They come in a really nice case here, but they really nailed the ability to level this thing. Look how easy it is to just turn this and set your level. Now I'm gonna walk you through the speakers in the Motion Series and then the Motion XT Series. The Motion Series gets a new mid-range made from a woven fiberglass. Every single model has a five and a half inch version in this new mid-range. This means with the exact same tweeter and mid-range, you're assured of an incredibly well-matched home theater configuration with panning effects sounding exactly the same as they move from speaker to speaker. The only thing that did not change in the motion line was the woofer material in the floor standing models. The aluminum cone Martin Logan developed is still an amazing performer. And even though the material is the same as the prior generations, these are all new designs with a smooth unibody look that eliminated the need for the prominent dust caps seen on prior generations. Okay, so first up is the new Motion B10 bookshelf speaker. This one uses the five and a half inch woven fiberglass mid-range with the new Gen 2 folded motion tweeter. This model has a rear firing port and is set up for single wiring. They have an impedance of four ohms with a sensitivity of 92 dB, which is very high for a speaker of this size. The B10 is a relatively compact speaker designed to be used in a small to medium sized room. We found them to produce a very wide and three-dimensional soundstage, and like every one of these, with a stupendous top end. The highs are lightning fast, but very smooth. You can listen to these for hours without any sense of fatigue. They had the best balance of bass in our testing about one foot off the back wall, but in reality, they still do not go very low with a rating of about 56 hertz. These will make a great main surround speaker, or if you pair them with one of the fast Dynamo Martin Logan subs, they can throw out a huge soundstage with the subwoofer adding in that missing last octave. I would, however, not recommend them as a full range speaker in a larger room, as you'll probably find the bass lacking in that size room. The F10 is the first tower speaker, but with a very compact footprint. You'll get the five and a half inch woven fiberglass driver here used for the mid range only, complemented with two five and a half inch aluminum cone woofers. The impedance and sensitivity are the same as the B10 at four ohms and 92 dB. These do reach down far lower with a three dB down point of 38 Hertz and can be bi-wired. With its very narrow front face, these give you as good an image as the B10, but with a far more base reach. But the extended bottom is not just about the base. Having the better foundation makes the lower mid-range sound a lot better to me. I felt across the board that the F10 just sounded more musical to me than the bookshelf. The bottom firing base port also makes their placement extremely flexible as you don't have to worry about it firing into a rear wall. You can put these pretty close to a wall with no boominess, although I still feel they sound best like all towers do a bit out into the room. The Motion F20 is the top of the line tower in this series with a change to dual six and a half inch aluminum base drivers paired with the five and a half inch woven fiberglass mid-range and the Gen 2 folded motion tweeter. While on paper, these only get down three hertz more in base with a rating at 35 hertz and the same great 92 dB sensitivity of the F10, they just sounded more powerful and dynamic to me. There's also a slight difference in how these cross over compared to the F10 and B10, which I feel makes the lower mid-range sound more realistic. To round out 
this series of motion, you get the C10 center with two of the five and a half inch woven fiberglass drivers and the Gen 2 Obsidian Fold and Motion Tweeter. These are actually a two and a half way anti-lobing design with a crossover points at 1000 and 2000 Hertz. They're the most sensitive in the line at 93 dB in the same forearm impedance. The cabinet on the C10 is tapered on one side, which means it can either sit flat on a shelf or if you flip it over, it aims the face of the cabinet up a small angle, enabling you to put it below your screen. With its rear firing port, I do recommend it not be put inside a cabinet unless you just have to. If you must put it that way, you should check out the video we did on how to fine tune your center channel speaker. Dialogue sounded great with the C10, but its best characteristics is its high sensitivity, which did two things for us. Explosions that were mixed more to the center really came to life and having such a high sensitivity means you can much more easily hear the tiny changes in the volume levels of people's voices when they're expressing subtle emotion cues and drawing you deeper into the film. Okay, so the final speaker in this line is this really cool MP10, which has got the five and a half inch driver here and the tweeter up here. You'll see it's got this really neat angled uh, area in the back that's got the port in it. What that means is, let's say you've got a really tight space and you wanna have rears or um, sides, and you don't have room for a bookshelf. This would be perfect because of how narrow it is. Or if you didn't want to put it on a stand or a shelf, you can actually mount these. Got a cool little mounting bracket to mount them to the wall for sides or rears. Or, and this is the really cool part, flip it upside down because of the angled back, it can solve a problem where you can't get, let's say, in ceiling at most speakers in. This is full 92 dB sensitivity like the rest. By the way, they were super smart. You can actually flip the little Martin Logan logo around there as well. Now I'll move to the XT line of motion models. There are two major differences with these and the ones I just covered. First, the folded motion tweeter is over twice as large physically, meaning it can move even less to achieve the same output. The mid-range driver is completely different. All of these use a six and a half inch driver for either just the mid-range or mid-range base. The material moves up to a woven Kevlar blend, we started seeing Kevlar many years ago in mid-range drivers, but what is new is how Martin Logan uses constrained layer dampening. They found a material called Nomex, which has pretty much the exact opposite resonance characteristics as Kevlar. They bond a very thin layer of this to the back of the Kevlar driver, which totally deadens it. And I have to say, the proof is in the listener. The bookshelf model in the XT line is called the XT-B100. You get the six and a half inch Nomex reinforced Kevlar driver paired with the much larger XT motion tweeter. Sensitivity goes up to 93 dB and the low end is much deeper than the B10 with a spec of 45 Hertz. We compared the B10 and the XT B100 side by side and we felt the XT model completely blew away the B10. The bass went far deeper, but that added bass along with the better driver made voices and instruments in the mid-range just sound far more accurate. If you're looking for a bookshelf standalone speaker, spend the extra 20% and get the XT-B100. You won't regret it. We also tested it in a really large space and it had no problem putting out a big sound that was very fulfilling. The model is one heck of a great value. For the two Tower XT models, they all use three aluminum cone-based drivers coupled with that great Nomex reinforced Kevlar mid-range and the larger XT tweeter. The big difference between the XT-F100 and the XT-F200 is the XT-F100 uses three six and a half inch drivers while the XT-F200 uses three eight inch versions. The bigger woofers get you about four hertz more extension down to 27 hertz compared to 31 hertz. But like the other series, the bigger ones to my ears just had far more slam, even though they had the same great sensitivity rating of 92 dB. The XTC 100 center with its two and a half way anti-lobing design using the same Nomex reinforced Kevlar driver as the others was equally as good as the XT bookshelf. It has the same cabinet design as the other offering both positions. The new XT tweeter with this mid-range driver gives this center channel speaker the ability to let you hear deep into the performer's emotions. I also love how sensitive it is, which makes it very dynamic. We were so impressed with this entire line of speakers that we're outfitting a media room set up in our Raleigh showroom to show exactly how you can use these to get both great high-performance music and a full Atmos theater in a traditional living room setup. 
That video will release just days after this one, and we'll post the link in the description so you can see them in action. For those of you looking to go for a fully immersive home theater experience, Martin Logan also has several architectural models that match up really well with these great in-room speakers. They recently revamped both the Motion and Motion XT series of in-wall and in ceiling speakers with very similar drivers to what you find in the new Motion and Motion XT in-room speakers. The Motion architectural models have the same type of woven fiberglass drivers, while the XT have the Kevlar. You can follow the link below to learn more about the many offerings Martin Logan has to complete your entire home theater system. We also love the Martin Logan subwoofers, which we will also see in our full media room implementation of the Motion series. We did a full video review of the subs you'll find linked below. These are very fast subs that also use Anthem room correction for superb accurate bass. Our team can help you select the right one to pair with any of these Martin Logan Motion speakers. If you want to learn more or decide to purchase Martin Logan speakers, stop by one of our award-winning showrooms or chat or talk to our team at audioadvice.com. We would love to help you out. We have a price guarantee, free shipping, and provide lifetime support. Our team has decades of experience in speaker placement and setup, which means you have access to pick our brains with any questions you have on how to get the best performance in your room. Our team looks at pictures of listening rooms and home theaters every single day, and we love helping our customers get the best sound possible with our setup tips. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to get the latest home theater and home audio content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.